So this one is pretty cool. Starts with, we're going to do another one right after this ends with, that's going to be very similar, uh, similar to the, was it uh, trim start and trim end we did at the beginning? Or no, it was trim left and trim right, whatever. So starts with, takes two exact string types and returns whether T starts with you. So you can, exact string types means like a string literal. So if we pass it ABC as the first argument and then AC as the second generic argument, it will be expected to return false because ABC starts with AB, not AC, if that makes any sense. Yeah. It's right down the screen, but yeah, uh, yeah let's, let's get started. So we need, we definitely need uh, like T extends string. We need that and uh, U string. That's, that's how we're going to start. Yep. Um, so we're checking starts, but so we're checking if T starts with U, is that right? Yes. Um, T extends U string. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're grabbing the first character. Oh, you got it! Wow. Okay, sorry, I was there formatting it. It's, it's not grabbing the first character because um, because you is one of the generics. Ah, right, right. right. Yeah, you is one of the generics, right? It's. I was thinking character. it was a like infer thing, but it isn't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was it. Um, <laughs> sweet. I looked up other examples of how people did this. This is basically the only way that I saw people doing it. But there was an interesting nope that I found. Uh, let's just make that zero. This one kind of works. So we see that for some of the inputs, it works. So A, B, C, D, it works. But when you pass an empty string, it fails. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at it. Uh, we can see in our IntelliSense here that infer, I hope it shows up on the screen to those watching, but infer R is kind of like uh, dimmed. So we don't use it. Uh, S-T-R-I-N-G is how you spell string. Great. So we can just replace that. L is going to infer the first character of the thing, and then U is like a match in the in between. We saw this a couple of lessons back. I, what was which one was it? Um, we did a couple of these uh, sorts of it was things. A replace all, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, replace that was it. Um, yeah. So this fails because uh, U you itself, like we see here, if U itself is a empty string there's not like any any way to get both of these to match on the same thing so they kind of like fight with each other um oh <laughs> i have my own note here okay i wanted to show how to debug this so we can see what case it it hits oops let's do this one uh two three oh, this is smart i like this so this is like console logging. It's kind of like console logging. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So if we do that, they're all going to fail now. But let's go to the ones that A5 was one of the ones that we saw. So we see what's happening is that it's hitting case number two. So it's getting to here, right? Because L does extend empty string. Because it's nothing. There's nothing else there. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. that that's, that's a just... I thought it was cool because... If, it's, if you get into the situation where you have code like this, it can be difficult to understand what case it's hitting. And there's not like a TypeScript debugger or, I don't know, if there is at some point in the future, please comment below. I would love to see a TypeScript debugger that kind of shows you step-by-step step going through these generics. But until that time, it's a nice little trick to be able to copy-paste uh, some values in there. Of course, it'll make things fail for a short time, but it, at least it will show you kind of like where it's getting stuck. So, yep, yeah, anyway, that's that one. Starts with. The next one is ends with. So, stick around. <laughs>